So the ATF posted their final rule on stabilizer braces. The government is putting new restrictions on guns with accessories known as stabilizing braces. As WDRB's Lindsay Allen explains, it means millions of gun owners could be breaking the law if they don't act within the next 120 days. And this is the particular gun we're talking about. It's a pistol with a stabilizing brace, but come next week, it's going to be called something different and subject to new rules. This accessory is what they're calling a stabilizer. It's those new rules Crestwood Gun Range CEO Barry Laws is trying to inform his customers about, even putting it on a sign at the entrance to his store. So you're going to have millions of people becoming essentially criminals for not complying. On Friday, the ATF finalized a new regulation which will reclassify guns with stabilizing accessories as short-barreled rifles, not pistols. That means these guns will require a federal license to own. Owners have a few options. They can register the guns, remove the stabilizing brace, or surrender the gun to the ATF. The rule goes into effect once it's published in the Federal Register, which is expected to happen sometime next week. The Department of Justice is giving owners the next 100 120 days to comply. The change is part of the gun strategy President Biden announced in 2021. And before I get into this, I want you to realize that there are millions of people that have these braces on their guns right now because the ATF initially said that they were legal. Now they're changing their minds. Now they're saying that people with braces on their guns must register them within 120 days from when the final rule appears in the Federal Register. The posting on the ATF website reads like this. This rule is effective the date it is published in the Federal Register. Any weapons with stabilizing braces or similar attachments that constitute rifles under the NFA must be registered no later than 120 days after date of publication in the Federal Register or the short barrel removed and a 16 inch or longer rifle barrel attached to the firearm or permanently remove and dispose of or alter stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached or the firearm is turned into your local ATF office or the firearm is destroyed. The proposed rule implemented a standard called Worksheet 4999, which used a point system to determine if a gun featuring a pistol brace would be classified as a short-barreled rifle. The ATF chose a different direction, however, and will now classify virtually every pistol with a brace as an SBR. Remember, millions of people have these braces on their guns. This new rule, which isn't even a law, but has the consequences of being a law, asserts that any weapon that is designed, redesigned, manufactured or modified to be fired from the shoulder will now legally be an SBR. There is also the possibility that if a firearm only features a surface area that could permit it to be fired from the shoulder, then it may fall under the definition of an SBR. The ATF will consider any pistol with a length of pull equivalent to that of a rifle to be an SBR. Further, the addition of an optic on a pistol that requires eye relief in the same fashion as a rifle will be an SBR. So essentially, simply putting an optic on a pistol will likely change it from a pistol to an SBR. Here's what's even crazier. They're going to study how weapon manufacturers market their guns to determine if adding a particular device to the gun makes it an SBR. And oh, it doesn't stop there. They're also going to consider how the shooting community uses the weapon and could change classifications even if individual shooters use it as the manufacturer intended. Once again, I want you to remember, the ATF told us that these braces were legal to put on our guns. And now, overnight, they're now illegal unless you register them with the ATF or destroy the gun. It doesn't take a genius to see how this is a de facto gun registration. So now millions of guns that were once not on a registration will now have to be forced to be on a registration or you become a felon. I'm positive there will be lawsuits filed over this, but as anyone who has had the misfortune of dealing with the court system knows, the one thing they are not is fast. And for the people that don't understand why this is even a thing, there are so many people out there who are first time gun buyers who went to the gun store and saw a pistol with a brace on it and said, yes, I want to use that for home defense. I want to use that to go to the range. I want to use that just to shoot or own in general. They don't know anything about this. The people who are actually paying attention to this are people who are deeply entrenched in the conversation. So there are going to be a ton of people who aren't even going to be aware of this and they're going to get messed up simply because the ATF changed their mind on a rule. It's not even a law. It's a rule. And the ATF is not even supposed to be in a position to make laws. They don't make laws, they make rules. But here we are, 2023, 
after they told us that we can have them, now all of a sudden, nope, can't have them anymore. Because of what? Because you simply change your mind? Because you're scared of shorter weapons? And that's the thing I keep trying to point to people who are kind of sitting in this middle waiting and trying to say, oh, no, just like, no, I'm telling you, the government is not on your side when it comes to protecting your Second Amendment rights. The government has no incentive whatsoever to be a proponent of your Second Amendment rights because the Second Amendment was written in, by and large, for the most part, truth be told, almost all of it, because of the government. That is why the Second Amendment exists. So, of course, the government is going to do everything in their power to undermine the Second Amendment that gives the power to the people. I want you to understand, they are literally telling you a piece of plastic and metal turns your gun into something else entirely. That's how you know these laws aren't designed to stop criminals. They're designed to stop law-abiding people. That's what they're designed for. These gun laws are designed for you. They're not designed to stop criminals. Criminals aren't going to give two shits about them bump stock or a brace or or a stock on their gun they don't care they're, they're literally using it to go and create a bigger felony than what they're doing by putting a brace on their gun and not registering it you need to get in contact with your representatives that's the only way the stuff like this stops happening just truth be told you've got to create an environment where the representatives know that the second amendment is a no-go zone anything that touches it understand they need to understand Anything they do that affects the Second Amendment will be hellfire. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video.